But um, I do want, for those that are just walking in, just to welcome you. I'm excited that we have a, a great interest um, for students to be able to travel internationally. We talked to the uh, middle school teachers about incorporating. We want it to be not just a trip, but we want it to be like an end of a learning experience. So we selected Greece um, because it aligns with some of the things that we're going to do next year um, throughout the, the year in the classroom and the specials. So we want it to all be, um, to all flow for the students and have that end of the year experience to see what they've been studying actually in person. So it's a great opportunity. Today you will hopefully get your questions answered. Um, if not, you do write the questions or... Okay, so you do have an opportunity to write down your questions and we'll collect those. If you don't get those answered today, we will send it out to you all as a group. Um, I do want to, before I turn it over to Ms. Washington, I want you all to know that we have um, sister schools with Charter School USA that use this company and have gone um, on international trips for years with their students and so it's highly recommended. Um, I feel like we are just blessed to have Ms. Washington here, who also has years of experience with this company traveling with students. So we're really excited to have her here, and, and she's willing and, and able and capable of um, leading this uh, trip for our students. So today is really about getting your answers. Um, you see on the, the slide here, you will have an opportunity to enroll. Um, if you know this is something you want to do, I know Ms. Washington is going to talk about um, ways to raise money a little bit, fundraising opportunities for the students to help um, offset some of the fees. But please note that if you are interested, I do encourage you to jump on it early. We're going to fill up the bus, and once it's full, that's it. Um, so you have an advantage of already been at UPCA. Um, so if we have the buses filled by the end of this year, then we won't be able to open it up to additional students. So it's a limited number of students that's able to attend um, today. Also, so for the students here, uh, there's a limited number of students, and just like all the other field trips, uh, we are expecting you, when you go to represent um, UPCA, uh, we're basing that on how you're representing yourself and UPCA throughout the year. So if we have a lot of discipline problems throughout the year, we may have to discuss, is, are you ready, mature enough to go on the trip? So be mindful that it's just like any other field trip that we do expect for um, the behavior to align with being able to take an international trip. Um, so with that, I will go ahead and turn it over to Ms. Washington so she can share all the details. All right, thank you. You're welcome. Today we're going to talk about a few things. I'm going to tell you a little bit about my travel story with EF. Um, we're going to talk about when and where we will be going. Our partnership with EF, that's the safety portion, and I was just sharing with Ms. Ware, parents care about the money and the safety. And we cannot go wrong with this company on both fronts. Um, our tour itinerary, what's included and what's not, and price and how to enroll. So those of you who don't know me, Mrs. Washington and I teach music to all of the elementary and I teach drama to middle school. And my husband is also a school teacher in Pasco County. And six years ago, he was teaching in Zephyr Hills, which is six years ago was even more rural than it is now. It's still pretty rural. And they were teaching, he and another teacher were teaching about the Holocaust. And the students were saying, it doesn't seem real to us. It doesn't seem tangible we, if we could somehow experience it. So they started looking into student travel. And EF is a company that both my husband and I traveled with when we were in high school. That's how old it is. Um, and I also had an exchange student that came and spent a year with my family from EF. So it was a name that we knew, and we checked in. And that first year, they had 35 students who went to Germany, Poland, uh, the Czech Republic, and Hungary, um, which was amazing. Uh, so we've been leading student travel since 2013. I have traveled to 13 different companies with countries with EF, and students as young as fourth grade, all the way up to college age. 
Um, so far, my favorite destination has been Ireland. That was last year's tour. Um, right now, our chaperones, Ms. Morales and I, will be the first two chaperones. Our chaperones will be coming from our faculty. And the reason we do that is because if you choose as a parent to go on tour with your student, we want you to do nothing but enjoy your student and enjoy that time together. We'll handle the work um, and you will enjoy being a traveler. So let's watch our first video. I'm gonna see if this is gonna work. No, it's not. I think you have to press it on the TV. Go. You're my. You're not my computer guy. <laughs> Educational tours, EF stands for Education First, and that is really, really important. These tours are not meant to be um, shopping excursions or relaxation. We hit the ground running. They estimate that we walk between 7 and 12 miles a day. Um, we see a lot of things. I have gone on tours, you know, on my own, and I have traveled on my own, and you never see the amount of things you see. And the idea is they want to expose students to absolutely everything we could possibly expose them to. Um, and you do. We immediately, we hit the ground and we go. And it is an amazing experience. EF Taurus, as I said, have, has been around for a while. They have been around for 50 plus years. They have 500 English language schools around the world that they run. They also have 53 offices, offices in 53 countries, including Greece. What that means to you is, if there is an emergency of any sort, they have people there to assist us immediately. Not, I'll try to get somebody to you, or we'll see what we can do, immediately. And that, uh, my two oldest children have traveled um, with EF Tours, that kind of peace of mind is exemplary. Oh, guaranteed lowest prices. And I will tell you, I had a couple of other tour companies calling me this year and I, and I checked into pricing and that is true. They are the lowest price. <laughs> so safety. When we get to Greece, and if you saw the video that we sent out, uh, the first thing they did is meet their, met their tour director. 
Our tour director is with us 24 seven and they are a native speaker, meaning we don't have to worry if we can't communicate in a small Greek market because we have somebody there that can. He, will, he or she will also communicate with our hotels, with our ground transportation, our bus drivers, um, our restaurants, things like that. So they stay right with us. Um, tour directors have at least a bachelor's degree. That is a rule in Europe. Um, most of them have master's degrees in things like art, architecture, history, um, <coughs> international relations, things like that. Um, they do have a local presence. It is shocking when you're walking through a city to see, you know, other American students with their EF backpacks and identify that there are other groups. The tour uh, directors oftentimes will meet for lunch in city centers and there will be a group of five or six of them, meaning there are five or six EF tours taking place simultaneously from all over the world um, in that city. They have a 24 hour emergency line. If you sh need to get a hold of your child for any reason or if we need to get a hold of you, that 24 hour emergency line is there. Um, they have a peace of mind policy. They have um, a great insurance plan, but also if something should happen, I don't know how many of you have seen the news, but there's a pretty devastating fire going on right now at Notre Dame Cathedral in Paris, which kind of breaks my heart. Um, if something should happen like that, you're on tour and the next day you're supposed to be visiting something like Notre Dame, they have so many connections that they will immediately rebook us into a new excursion and, and just reroute us there. So there's a lot of peace of mind in that. And support, um, they support us in our safety policies. When I took a trip with high schoolers, I actually had to send one back to America because she didn't want to follow our safety procedures. And um, they were right with us 24-7 calling on a cell phone with very little reception in the middle of the Austrian Alps. They were able to, to back us up, and, and that was awesome. Um, this is amazing, and it's new. They used to have college credits for the high schoolers that travel. Now they are able to offer high school credits. They are um, accredited by SACS, the Southern Association of Colleges and Schools. That is the same accreditation that we are accredited through and Pasco County is accredited through. So they are off, able to offer any of our students a high school credit with a project that they complete when they come home. Um, and that's pretty, that's pretty awesome. Um, it also just gives your students an amazing amount of confidence, maturity, um, as I said, my two oldest sons traveled when they were in middle school, and it's, it's amazing the, the difference in the students when they go and when they come back. Two of our students that went on that initial tour from Zephyr Hills, um, I just ran into one the other day at, uh, no, at the uh, restaurant. Anyway. She um, is getting ready to start her master's Longhorn. degree in international business. Longhorn State. Um, yeah. And uh, she said, I talk about that trip. She actually went on two of her trips. She said, I talk about those trips all the time. And they changed her entire life outlook. She has since made friends all over the world. She travels almost constantly. This is just a quote from a parent. We initially agreed to do this as a way of beefing up his college resume. By the way, a lot of colleges, because I just went through this last year, are now asking on the application to check a box if the student has traveled internationally. Um, what we didn't expect was the positive change that he experienced. Opening his eyes to the arts, cultures, and the world made for an extremely maturing experience. So here is our next video.
have also been known to take baggies with me and at the breakfast buffet I grab a piece of fruit and a piece of a roll and um, a little thing of Nutella and that becomes my lunch later on as we're touring because I don't want to miss a second. Um, so that can be anything from a couple of euro to you know an elaborate $20 sit down meal. It is completely up to what you want to budget as a family. Um, the educational itinerary includes tickets to any of the uh, locations, like the Temple of Poseidon and the Acropolis, any of the things that we go to. They also offer, while we are on tour, different um, extras. So for instance, last year, a small group of us went to see a show in London. Um, and those are optional. What we usually do is say, which, which chaperone wants to lead this group? <coughs> and that chaperone will take a group. And it could be that we choose several different things. Or it could be that we play card games and board games in the, the hotel. Okay. Completely optional. Um, guided tours and activities. Just as our tour director is licensed and educated, tour guides in Europe also have to be educated and they, are, they, are, um, they have a license to either the city or the site that they are going to be telling us about. So they are experts. Breakfast and dinner, as I said. Uh, breakfast is usually a beefed up continental buffet. Um, so there's lots of different things to offer. Uh, they are very, very, very good about any um, nutritional needs. Uh, my sister has toured for two years with me, and she uh, was completely gluten-free and dairy-free, and they had no problem accommodating her. Um, we get all of that information. Food allergies, not a problem. Dinner is either in the hotel restaurant or in a local restaurant. 24-7 on tour assistance, that's our tour director. Our traveler support team, as I said, we can contact them at any time for any reason. We left a, a charger in the last hotel, we immediately call and they arrange to have it sent to one of our next destinations. The tour donation page is awesome. It is our own personal GoFundMe. Um, it is directly through EF Tours. If your child wants to tell aunts, uncles, grandparents, don't buy me a birthday gift this year, donate to my tour donation page. It goes right to their tour. And that's a really awesome feature. Both of my sons, um, they didn't have the donation pages when my sons traveled, but my two older sons went without our knowledge to their grandparents and said, I would rather you put money toward my tour than getting me gifts this year. So that's always an option. The We Share online education format is how they get high school credit. And that's something we can get into once you've enrolled. They may choose to do We Share, they may not. And it's completely fine either way. Um, they have also an Uncommon App College Essay Toolkit that even if you're touring as a sixth grader, you can still access that toolkit when you're getting ready to go to college, and that's a really important thing. You get a travel backpack, you may or may not use it. My opinion is that I, I prefer not to use one because then it targets you as a, as a uh, tourist, um, but they do provide us with those as well as nice little bracelets that have all of our um, important phone numbers on them, so we always have those handy. And they offer a global travel protection plan. A few things that you will need to cover. Passports, and the passport has to be active for at least six months after our return date. And that is a State Department rule. They will not let us get on an airplane if they look at our passport and realize that it expires in three months. That won't happen because we will be very diligent about making sure that we have all of that in line. Um, visas only apply if you are an international passport holder and then EF will walk us through who needs visas and who doesn't. But if you have a United States passport, that's all we need to travel. Um, airport baggage fees. Okay, you might want to brace yourself for this one. 
We travel with one carry-on. We travel that way because you are responsible for your own baggage. We're not in the United States. It is likely you will get to a hotel and you will have to walk up four or five flights of stairs. No one is carrying four bags for you. If you choose to bring big suitcases, it is, it is included. You can bring a big suitcase and a carry-on and a personal item, but it's your responsibility. I can teach you to pack for 10 days in a carry-on. I promise you, it's like a miracle. I mean, it pops open and stuff flies out, but it can be done. I've seen it. Um, lunches and snacks, you can bring snacks with you. Um, and I highly suggest it if you are a finicky eater or there's like, you have to have a Pop-Tart in the morning, <laughs> you have to bring those. Spending money, EF uh, suggests 20 to 30 United States dollars per day to cover food and souvenirs. I've had students do it for $10 a day. I've had students who, as you saw in the video, get their parents' credit card, and I don't suggest that, because <laughs> they go a little wild. Um, but it, it is a range. It is completely what you want. This is also a really great opportunity for students to learn how to budget their money. Do you really want that t-shirt? If you do, you might have to eat a smaller lunch so you can afford that t-shirt. So that is a huge, huge lesson that students learn. Um, tips, because we, because our tour guides and directors and our bus drivers are all professional people, we do tip them. Once we get enrolled, we will talk about that. It usually breaks down to $10 per day per traveler. That covers all of our tips. I do collect those before the trip and we break it all down so I have envelopes ready so when we finish our tour of the Acropolis I can say thank you to our tour director and I can hand her or our tour guide and I can hand her her envelope. So that's something that we'll discuss. We'll be having frequent meetings um, between now and March. So if you plan this trip on your own, this is going through um, I think Expedia. The round trip airfare, $1,207 as of right now. Hotels with private bathrooms. Oh, and hotels, this is the big question. So students are, um, four students to a room. We do not room unrelated adults with students. That's a safety issue. If you are choosing to go on the trip with your student, you can arrange to have a family room, meaning you will have your own room with your family, or you can just be by yourself. Adults are two to a room. Usually that's not a problem. If you know you cannot room with somebody else, um, and we let you choose the room, so if you're, you know, your family neighbor, your friend is going, you can room together. But if you know that that is absolutely not okay, you can upgrade to a private room for very little extra. Um, but that's how rooming goes. So um, hotels with private bathrooms, breakfast and dinner daily, transportation in and between the cities, full-time bilingual tour director, sightseeing tours led by local licensed guides, and some places don't even allow you to tour unless you have a guide with you. That is a rule for a lot of UNESCO sites. Um, and entrance fees to places like the Acropolis, the Acropolis Museum, the Delphi, Delphi Museum. Um, that would equal about $5,480 if you booked it yourself. Going with EF and all of the lovely people you see here. Our cost is $37.25. That can be broken up a number of ways. You can, you can set an auto pay to pay bi-weekly. You can set an auto pay to pay once a month. You can pay it in full. You can d decide to not set an auto pay and just pay when you feel like making a payment. And you also have the, the donation page. Now, I know Ms. Morales and some of her emails have said that we will fundraise as well. I have had years where we have fundraised till I have done car washes till my hands were permanently looking like raisins. And I have no problem with that. If you want to fundraise, I will arrange fundraisers. The way that works is if we have a four hour fundraiser and we earn $400, we divide that among 
how many kids we have show up and how many hours they work. So they're getting paid hourly, basically. And that money goes right to EF. If you don't want to, I've had parents who've said, I'd rather just pay the fee. I don't have time for this. We have baseball, we have karate, we have dance, we have piano. Rock on. <laughs> because parents will choose to do that too. So we, we are flexible and we can do that either way. You always have the donation page. I also will be drafting a letter that I have to just, just remake for our school that you can take to businesses and ask them to sponsor your student. Um, churches, a lot of civic organizations like Rotary have been known to do that. And then the student in return will create a nice travel log video or PowerPoint and they will go and present that as a thank you and tell the, the group all of what, what their money went toward. So that's really great as well. Um, we have 30 spots available as of right now. If we, if we go above 30, fantastic. We'll have to open more spaces up. But right now we have 30. Um, this initial enrollment period ends April 26th. We're hoping to have the bus full by then. If you enroll within the next 48 hours, you will get $100 off, which covers your entire $95 enrollment fee plus an extra $5. We have available iPads as well as QR codes, and you can go right to our tour page and enroll now. You can think about it. You can ask questions. You can go home and discuss it as a family. Um, anytime before that April 26th. Uh, again, I have done this for six years. My husband has done this for six years. Um, we have a huge amount of knowledge. If you have specific questions, I can answer. Does anybody have any questions they want to ask me specifically? Or yes, ma'am. Are your siblings allowed to go like babies or like girls? So younger siblings, and we have had that come up. I, as I said, the youngest I've taken on a tour is, is a um, fourth grader, and it was a little much for her. Um, we do do a lot of walking. We are on a very tight itinerary. There are very specific laws in Europe for buses on roads and things like that. So we don't have a lot of time to say, I, I slept in, I needed 30 more minutes. It's really hard for younger siblings. So if you have a question about a younger sibling, fifth grade or up, you can call Ms. Morales and we will make that determination on a case-by-case -case basis. But right now we're trying to keep it middle school. Yes? I have a question. If one parent is planning to go and something comes up and that's really with work or whatever, can we, if it's three months out and they haven't booked the flights and stuff, could you technically... As long as they have not booked the flights, they're really good about switching. Um, however, it, it is non-refundable. If you buy the tour, the uh, global protection, they will. That's an insurance policy, and it will help you. But if you, if you get, and this has happened, again with high schoolers. But uh, right before we left for Italy, we had the, they, the company called us and said, apparently one of your travelers was given the choice of going to Italy or getting a tattoo and they've decided to get a tattoo. So I'm giving you a day to try to find somebody who wants to pay with, give them the money and take over their trip. Um, but it is non-refundable and that person I hope realizes at this point the vast mistake they made. <laughs> can, can two parents go for one child? Yes, absolutely. We've had, we have a, a family that has traveled with us frequently um, the mom is a, is a school nurse and dad is a Pasco County Sheriff. Not only have they traveled with their two sons, but this last trip their daughter came back from college and all five of them went. It is an amazing experience to have with your kids. My two oldest, my youngest will be going on this trip. He has been waiting patiently until I felt he was mature enough. But it is a great experience to have with your kids. Yes. It is, but I, and I don't know the price. But um, our tour uh, consultant's name is Kristen. And uh, when you go to that page, um, if you scan the QR code, her information will be there, and she will be able to give you all that information. Do I have to decide before? No. You have to decide before, like, the three-month deadline where they're booking our rooms. Do you have all the water for the hotel? 
That's us. <laughs> that's our chaperones. And that's why we said we want parents to be able to enjoy this. Um, the teachers are the ones that we will have a rotation to be able to monitor the rooms. They try to put like two or three rooms of students and a teacher. So we'll be able to hear like, ah, that's getting a little rowdy. Let's knock on the door and find out what's going on. Um, the rules are very specific. They cannot, the, the hotel staff knows if they see a wandering student, they immediately must stop them and call us. Um, in six years, we have never had an incident of, of students getting in trouble in the rooms. Like I said, I had to, did have to send a student home because she was a little, a little dishonest, a um, high schooler, but in, I don't know if I said that, but if I didn't, I've had to have, a, I've had to send a student home who decided she wanted to break all the rules. That was on her parents' dime. That was a $1,900 last minute one-way ticket. And I've never had another problem. And we have taken hundreds of students. What? By the end of the day, I will tell you, they are so exhausted. They don't even, we tell them, you know, you can stay up and be on, on your phone for the next half an hour. Most of them are in bed. They're exhausted. So there's nobody on the hallway at night? So let's say it's 2 in the morning and they decide to go to another bedroom. There's nobody to monitor that? No, that's the, the teachers we, we rotate. So we we'll always somebody away from the yeah. hallway. And then we also, I have this fun little trick where I put pagers tape on their door and I can always tell if anybody's opened the door after lights out. Yes? Depends. A lot of times we, we switch to a new hotel each day, um, but if they're sick, it, it, um, they have universal health care. So uh, they actually have doctors come right to the hotel and make sure the kids are okay, and it costs us nothing. So if we're trying to figure out the total cost, there's a $95 enrollment. Mm -hmm. Is that part, this, that's not part of that? Well, if you enroll in the next 48 hours, that okay. they take $100 off. So. If you don't, because you have to, like, right. For tips. For tips and then about um, $200 for lunch. Spending money, yeah. Spending money. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Do we have to bring a backpack or a luggage? Like, do we bring both backpack and luggage, or does it have to be a specific You can, what we are allowed to bring is a regular suitcase that gets checked, a carry on size suitcase, and a personal item, which would be a backpack. Um, so you're allowed to bring all of that. Um, as I've said, we tend to try to encourage people, it doesn't always happen, but to, to pack very light. You're not, you're honestly not gonna be worried about how cute you look. Um, we, it, we're very busy. Um, you go constantly. I also bring a second bag that I pack that folds flat in my suitcase and then I can, I can check a bag and have an extra bag coming home. Um, when we're a little bit more relaxed. I did have a teacher, the drama teacher at Wesley Chapel High School, um, when she went on her first tour to Paris, um, her luggage did not make it for the first five days of her trip because she checked luggage. And so that's another reason why we really encourage a carry-on. It's so much easier. Rachel? So there's, 
On the EF site, there is a packing list, but that's going to be in another meeting. We'll do a safety meeting. We'll do a packing meeting. We'll do. Um, your mom has to decide if you're going. Um, but those will be in, in additional meetings. Yes. Yes, students will give me a rooming list, students, other students that they choose to room with, and we try as much as possible to abide by that. Um, sometimes we, um, hotels in Europe are a little different. They're not, sometimes we stay in, in regular holiday inns, and that's great. <laughs> we know what to expect. Sometimes it's an old home that's been converted to a hotel. And so one room might have four beds and one room might have three and one, one room might have two. So sometimes when we get there, the tour director will sit down and he'll say, here's what we have. We have a four bedroom, a three bedroom, two two bedrooms, and we have to kind of figure that out. So we do, you will suggest a rooming list to us. You will say, these are the people I would love to be in a room with. And we try everything possible to make that happen. Yes, private bathrooms. Would, if, if you have parents, it's like they have permission, like if their parents not going. Yes. But, you know, you're very close with the family, like can that child then stay with you? Yes, if you, if you have a family friend that's going and not you and you want them to be in a family room, that is something that you can arrange. Um, I cannot on the tour just take a student out of a room and put them in an adult room. That is against the EF rules. That they, They're very specific about their rules. So I can't do that, but if you make arrangements in advance, you absolutely can do that. Um, do we have to wear our uniform when we go there? Or no! <laughs> yes! I think one day we'll probably wear spirit shirts the day we go so that we can have a nice picture with Upka and all of our spirit <laughs> shirts. But no, you get to wear, you get to wear civilian clothes. One. <laughs> That is something that Miss Ware and we will have to discuss. I, in the past, as long as the kids have been in bed, um, the parents have, have come down um, and had a glass of wine within reason, but that is something that we will discuss and get back to you. <laughs> that is, that's a very valid question. I will tell you, parents, that I have, um, the, the US State Department probably thinks I have a real problem because um, if students want to bring gifts back to parents that are not allowed in the United States for a student this age to carry, they, I will purchase it and keep it in my stuff. So I have often come back from Europe with an entire suitcase full of Italian wine. And um, <laughs> it's very embarrassing in Tampa airport where I start pulling bottles out and handing them off to parents. But I, I understand, it's a great gift. If you have specific questions, I'll stay till we're done. Um, if you would like to use a computer, uh, iPad will get you set up, and the, the QR code um, have been the QR codes have been handed out. Also on the table, um, you see my backpack that has been all over the world, as well as just a few of my photo albums from our student travel. My husband has a bunch of them at his school too, and I wasn't able to get them, but um, please take a take a moment to take a look. You can always email me, email Ms. Morales, email Kristen and EF Tours. Thank you all for coming out. Thank you.